Welcome to Season 5, Episode 1 of Investigating Ghosts. This episode will take place in Boston, Massachusetts in real life if I do want to do it. And it is called Fort Warren. And it is off on Georgia's Island. So that's where Fort Warren sits. So here's the intro for Season 5. My name is Michael Pappas. I have always wanted to go to some scary places so I could be spooked out with my two investigators named Alex. That is in charge of developing technology so we can see things in the dark. And with my best friend-like brother named Brady Maycumber that will be locked with me for an entire night. All three of us are. All over these scary ghost places from around the 50 states. While from dusk to the rise of the sun. While battling ghosts. Extreme. And the horrors. These are the places that we will be investigating. Welcome to our 50th episode. To this big, big fort area right behind me. Called Fort Warren. It is a fort of American soldiers. That they were all participating in World War I and II. That some Americans... That actually died at this fort. Much like the place we went to. To that fort of Americans and the Iraqs. It's a little similar here at Fort Warren. But. This is. The real fort now. That we would come here. By boat. To get dropped off here at George's Island. In the state capital of Massachusetts. Boston. So Boston lies. A unknown fort off on George's Island. And that is what we came here for. To learn about this big fort here. Fort Warren is a huge fort. When the Americans were fighting up against the Russians. And probably the Germans during the uh, Allied Powers. World War II, I believe. And any other countries that would be a threat to the U.S. fort. Other than Russia and Germany. Fort Warren was built from 1833 to 1861. And was completed shortly after the beginning of the ACW. As part of the third system of US fortifications. Jim and Mark talks more about the history of Fort Warren some more. In the 1870s. Fort Warren was upgraded with new Barbred batteries on the parapets along with a six-gun external battery. These were armed with Rodman guys. A plague at the fort states that the southeast basin was roofed over at this time to create a rare, possibly unique, cosmented 15-inch Rodman gun battery. The massive brick acres built the to enclose this based in, are impressive. From 1892 to 1903, Fort Warren was rebuilt to accommodate modern breech-loading rifled guns under the Endicott program. Five batteries were added to the fort, replacing some of the older gun positions as follows. Fort Warren was the headquarters of of the coast defenses of Boston in World War I. In 1917 to 1918, the four 10-inch guns of Battery Bartlett were removed for potential services as railway artillery on the Western Front. Contrary to some references, no 10-inch railway guns were mounted in time to be shipped the France to France for World War I, so that's where it got shipped to. Different 10-inch M 1888 guns, including two from Battery Railway at Fort Adams in Rhode Island and two from Storage, replaced these weapons in 1919. In 1920, with World War I over with, several weapons Types were withdrawn from Coast Artillery Services. These include the 4-inch Driggs uh, 
Squirters, Guns of Battery Plunkett, at the and the three inch Brig Seabury, Guns of Battery Lowell. The four inch guns at Fort Warren remained as display pieces at la at least through 1941. So, Jim is talking about the history of how these guys fought from the fort, of what they used for machinery and uh, weapon-wise. None of these were replaced, but during World War II, the fort served as a control center for Boston's Harbor's South Minefield, a precaution taken in anticipation of potential attacks by Chris Marine U-Boats. At that time, Fort Warren was garrisoned by the 241st Coast Artillery Regiment, Harbor Defense, a Massachusetts National Guard until that was federalized in September of 1940. Now, as new 16-inch batteries were built, particularly Bat Murphy at the East Point Military Reservation. Fort Warren's remaining guns were scrapped in 1942 to uh, 1944. Fort Warren was permanently decommissioned after 1950. At some point, an emplacement of Battery Bartley was demolished for a access road. This- Wow! So all of that weapon that they came here to fight, um, they used them all to protect their fort in Boston too, right? Wow, this place is a power fort of American battleground, definitely for New England, and hundreds of fighting war, war uh, soldiers. Wow, God! So now X's will be placed soon when we go inside. Yes. Because this place is huge, since it is off on a island. You know what, so why don't we go inside now to learn about more details of what happened for Soldier Wise. We just heard a lot of history about the gun works that were operated here on what it was used for. More for that. But we want to go inside and learn what haunts Fort Warren and what soldiers make the place haunted. Why are they trapped here? Yeah, we will find out if a interviewer will tell us why these, um, these, uh, let's say, uh, these soldiers are trapped in here. So why don't we go inside? Yeah, let's go. I'm going out. Did you hear that? I certainly did, yes. Yeah, what the hell was it? We are in Boston, off on an island called George's Island, while a fort sits here. When, coming tonight, a boat driver will drive us back to George's Island to Fort Warren, where we had parked. And so now we shall get our stuff because, you know, we will take a boat and drive us back to Fort Warren so we can set everything up. Uh, this stuff will be staying on George's Island till dawn, with us three. So, we are going inside this huge fort to see how crazy it is. In the middle of this island. So if you guys look up. The gates of to hell for you three. Look up guys. That is not a good sign man. Wow. A actual gate for us three. That says gates to hell. Wow. I didn't realize that. So the fort is in a shape of a pentagon. Like that represents the DCAS. True American right? Uh right. Yes, yes, but how do we know that the tour of the area of this fort, if there are tours here? Because some places do have tours. Well, actually, I will tell you. I am the tour guide, just so you know. And so now I'm going to give you guys off the first taste of what happened here in Fort Warren. So this lady in black first is the ghost here. Oh, no. We had multiple places that we had gone to. That had different women in different colors. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, Ghost Avengers Ms. Paul Hotel. With the Red Lady adding to the Washoe Club. But I think at the Washoe Club, she is blue. The, uh, the ghost, the girl, the woman. 
Yeah, probably. Oh, oh, oh. And the Huntington College with two different other colored lady ghosts. Oh, yeah, that's right. That college that we went to. So, uh, Jim. Who is she, Jim? She is the one that wanders in these grounds of the island, and her black robes terrifying those she comes in contact with. And now, Jim, you need to read the history about the Lady in Black, which I'll pull that up right now. And so this article that uh, Jim will read... This is such a huge paragraph, so I'm just going to read down to here, and that is it. So, the incredible, well, the unforgettable Mrs. Laner was uh, algeterally sentenced to death as a spy by L.T. Cole Dimmick. Before her hanging, she had one request. She wished to avoid the disgrace of meeting her demi demise in a man's clothing requested something more dignified. Some versions of the story claim that the soldiers managed to find in black dress, which was her, that was used theater crawls at the fort. Alternatively, she was given black monk's robes, another costume for theater crawls, or in other versions, an officer's black cloak. No matter which way, she was elegantly dressed in black when she was hung. And after her death, many soldiers at the fort claimed to see the mysterious apparition of a lady in black. Her voice could be heard in the corridor of dungeons. Soldiers playing poker observed a stone rolling unexpectedly across the room. Footprints were spotting in the snow outside the fort. Just five of them seeming from nowhere and going nowhere. Coming with some soldiers, according to the transition, were even court materialed for shooting at a pathom, phantom in black and one was brought up on charges of fleeing his post because he claimed he was chased by a lady in black. These stories run well into the 20th century and 21st century, if you must say. And so, the Lady in Black, or the late Mrs. Melanian, was the devoted wife of a Confederate soldier. After she received a letter from her husband stating that she was imprisoned at Fort Warren on George's Island, Mrs. Lanier was so moved to free him from captivity that she made the Ardorous journey from Georgia to Hull, Massachusetts, just minutes away from George's Island. She had a pistol and fired it on a soldier, causing her guilt to make the soldiers hung her. And she got hung, huh? Well, I guess she is like the main ghost on this island here. The ghost here that served in War Fort had died from shots here, right? Not that so. Uh, from the enemy? Sure, yeah, from the enemy. They come at night and you can hear the battle screams, meaning cries, from those soldiers. And some noises that you can also hear some cells doors getting slammed and figures as the last ones come. Guys, just tonight, just have some good luck. I think we need it. We will try to. Oh, by the way, I put X's while Jim was talking. While I was listening, too. Oh, good. Great idea. So we can go over it tonight. Yeah, that's true. Cannot wait for tonight. Now, when you go away from this island to get whatever you need to explore this place at night by coming by boat the sun will fall and darkness will definitely come and it, 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 it will haunt you guys 
you, uh, it, 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 it's gonna infect you guys. What are the three of us? Well, we are getting off. We are getting our stuff to set sail back to the island of Fort Warren, Georgia's Island 2. Yes. You three all set? You guys have your stuff? Yes, sir. We are all set. Okay, then. Here we go. Off we go. We're off. Woo! Yeah. Guys, you see the sun? When the sun falls, the ghosts of the soldiers will come out to greet us. Including the woman in black. Yes, she will be there. She will appear as well. And so now, by the boat, the three finally makes it within five minutes till dark. Well, it is five minutes till darkness, and so... Excuse me, Mr. Boatman, can you pick us up at 6 a.m.? Yes, sir. Great. Okay, bye and good luck, man. Good luck to you three. Thank you so. And so, your destination have finally come. How? What Zach Bacon said in Fort Valia Island is, here is your final destination. Hell. Which is also a movie, Final Destination. And Fort Warren's war has just begun. Yes, sir. Now, right before we um, do any exploring here, let us just set up our, let's say, our little boop camp our nerve center, and see uh, what we can find out here. Let us go over Brady's X's too. All right then, got it. We have an X outside, in the fore area, and inside. So let us start at the fore area. So the uh, X's, we quickly went through it because we just were so fired up to investigate this fort. Is anybody here? Oh, dude. I can hear, like, big boot, like, footsteps walking by, man. Huh? Something is wrong already, guys. Oh, dude, guys, look. Look at the grass. It is blowing because of the strong winds, guys. That might be a sign. It is getting ready for something very active to happen in this here fort. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 dude, 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 guys, 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 look, look, look. Something just walked to the inside of the fort area, man. I swear to God. What? What the? Well, did you catch her on camera? No, not really. I just saw it with my own eyes. Too bad it did not get caught on the camera. Well, that is probably a soldier, Alex. So how would we do by... Going to the outside to set up a camera since we are outside. Let us set up this here camera to capture anything in this view of a yard outside like field. <clears throat> While you hit record Brady, I'm going to do a little message to uh, somebody. Which is who? You'll find out. Woman in black, show yourself. Woman in black, show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself, woman in black, to that camera over there, now. <gasps> Dude, what was that? We are at Fort Warren, a fort when American soldiers had fought to protect the fort from any evil countries during World War One and Two. when suddenly our camera caught a noise on the field that Brady had heard. Here's the replay. <gasps> Dude, what was that? Something just happened, man. I swear to God. What? 
My battery in my camera had just died while that noise just was just all of a sudden was heard. Uh oh. Oh no. What? You for real? Are you for real? Yes, yes. Well, who did that? Was it you, woman in black? Yeah, well, uh, let us now go back inside because it's a little freezing out here since the uh, wind is blowing on us. Yeah, great idea. Okay, let's do it. So we all go inside now, and it's a little bit of a pause. American soldiers, you in here? Yeah. Did you just hear that? Uh-uh, no. What? Well, I caught a voice, man. You didn't hear it? No, not really. You a soldiers in here? <gasps> Ooh! Oh, what? 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 <laughs> Something is pushing me, man. Blah! What is going on, man? What did you feel? It is something that is going good, man. Dude, something is up. I'm getting pushed right now, man. Dude, I think you are getting a little bit of activity in here. So we are back. And now. What happened was something had pushed me. Something just pushed me moments ago, and it might have been the soldier that pushed me to a wall that just told me about how bad the war was. If I was in the war here to feel their pain, which w was the answer to what was going on. No kidding, man. Well, uh, let us walk for five minutes around the block of these cells here, inside the floor, and see what will happen in here. What thing? Who are you? So five minutes later, the three sets up a camera all around the floor. We have a camera in the inside of the fort area and outside, also to see what will these cameras will catch. Anything scary, if so. So right now, we are just being totally quiet because we don't know what's going to happen. <gasps> oh, oh my god, what? I did just hear that. Gosh, that was loud. Locked in. And surrounded. All alone. Surrounded by water. Nowhere to get off the island. Trespassing. That they cannot get out. Till sunrise, the lovely Fort Warren is getting worse with activity stuff that the three are getting whatever happens. When, all of a sudden, another moment had just happened, mostly from Brady. Here is the moment. So right now, we are just doing nothing because, I don't know, we just want to see what happens. <gasps> oh my god! What? I did hear that. Gosh. Here is the replay of what Brady had heard that startled him. Go away. Go away. What? Wow. You were a soldier that wants us to leave? You did scare me. Now our final EVP is caught. Here's the replay. Now. 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 Wow. This place is nuts, guys. Now to wrap things up, when the three checks on the cameras from the battlefield, what? the camera had captured footsteps and... Old gunshot noises. That was from the war. From long ago. Then the other camera that was aiming the other side of the field. Spot. Had caught a black mist that walked by. Is this the actual apparition of the lady? Or I'm sorry the woman in black? Sun rises. And so now the three exits. Onto the boat. To go off on. From uh, Fort um the uh, George's Island, to get back onto the road to go home. Fort Warren was a really scary place to be in, that the three was shocked later when leaving the fort, when nothing better than capturing apparitions of the Lady in Black.